Let's see cost-based optimization for one query block through the example of optimizing a query consisting of join operations. The most common type of queries in SQL usually contain join predicates with selections specified in the WHERE clause. We know that the order of relations in computing a join is important in the generation of intermediate results and therefore on the total cost. On the other hand, the number of different ways we can perform the join is also quite large. Consider the general case of joining n tables r1 to rn. There are two times n minus 1 factorial over n minus 1 factorial different join orders possible for this simple case. This number is huge. This means for join of three tables, we have 12 different orders. For five relations, this number is more than 1,000. For seven tables, it is more than 600,000. And for 10 tables, it is in the order of billions. So, should we consider all those combinations in the search for the optimal query plan? Wouldn't that be a huge cost on our database management system on a query evaluation? The good news is we don't need to generate all the equivalent query plans. We can start from left and find the best plan for a subset of the relations, for example, R1, R2, and R3. This, as we discussed, needs considering 12 plans. Then we find the best order for these three relations and we can consider R4 and R5 with the best order we have found for the R1 to R3 and ignore the rest of the plans. Using this simple idea, we can develop a dynamic programming algorithm for finding optimal join orders. In the dynamic programming approach, we should decide a base case, which is a single relation access plan. For a single relation access plan, we apply a selection on the single relation RI. Using the best access plan, which might be the best choice of index on the relation RI or a scan. To find the best plan for a set of all relations RI to RN, we then consider a non-empty subset whose cost is already computed. We then compute costs for all possible combinations for joining those subsets of S to find the cost of the plan and store the computed cost to be used when it is required again. Ultimately, we choose the cheapest of the considered alternatives among the computed plans. Alternatively, we can use heuristics. One of the famous heuristics for joins used in system R optimizer is considering only those join orders where the right operand of each join is one of the initial input relations not an intermediate table computed based on a join. If we represent this order with an array tree, we arrive at a tree structure called a left deep join tree. As you can see in the figure, at each join, the right element of the join is an input relation. So, what makes left deep join trees the preferable option? Let's consider the alternative, a non-left deep join tree, including intermediate relations to join. For example, using the same relations R1 to R5 and joining them, the tree in A can be rewritten to the tree in B. The tree depicted in B at the root joins two intermediate relations computed from previous joins of input tables R1 to R3 and R4 and R5. What makes the left deep joins preferable is that because of order of joins, they won't need storing those intermediate relations and therefore are particularly convenient for pipeline evaluation and therefore cutting the cost of the operation. 
applying the simple heuristic cuts the number of plants to be considered from all possible join orders to only left the join orders.